year to launch the 21st anniversary of Life Cycle, the Life Cycle Challenge. As always, we're going to go in a time, September, which is not necessarily the easiest time. It's going to be hot at the end of the monsoon season. There's going to be a lot of maybe uneven roads, mountainous terrain. So it's, it's you know, exciting stuff. It's what Life Cycle is all about, isn't it? The title sponsor this year is Nestle, um, particularly their brand of Nescafe 3-in-1, which is why we chose three countries to tie in with that concept. It helps us a lot to be able to give money on, pass it on to renal patients. It helps us create awareness about kidney failure, which many people don't even understand or start to understand the problem. So sponsors like Nestle, Nescafe 3-in-1 are fundamental for us. If companies like ours do not sponsor these things, these activities cannot take place, all right? So I think it, it is a moral obligation to uh, sponsor uh, these events, to be able to create this activity. It's not only, once again, it's the activity which is being done, but it's the communication which is being spread all over to the media and therefore the end consumer who is drinking our Nescafe is also saying, ah, they're not only making money out of this, but they're giving me something back. So that is why it's extremely, um, not only important, but it's our responsibility to sponsor this. First of all, I must say that I'm very proud to have been part of something like this, whereby we've seen a local NGO collaborating with a company in order to ensure that uh, the voluntary sector contributes together with the strategic partner to the well-being of the Maltese society. This year, the challenge will definitely offer beautiful landscape and mountains, definitely, and some off-road, so it's going to be a challenge for 2,000 kilometers. If you combine mountains with off-road, it's definitely going to be the, a tough one. Definitely a psychological challenge as well, besides the physical challenge. For preparation, definitely there's a training aspect, which is around 17 weeks. The psychological part, that is more personal, and that depends on the individual and how psychologically strong he would be or she will be to actually do the challenge. You don't have to be a super fit cyclist to do it, you just need to be a fairly fit person with a willingness to um, get on the bike and do something uh, serious to, to, to obviously to reach the, the goals. Um, psychologically, well, you just have to get your head screwed into it, you know, it's, uh, it's never going to be easy, you're going to come across things that might not suit you. It's not easy. Sometimes you do have little fallouts now and again, but generally speaking, the last few years have been fantastic, and that's down to the committee and how we, how we assess people. But generally speaking, it's nice people who, um, who put their names forward and uh, we, get a, we get a good team spirit. I must admit that in today's launch, I was extremely honoured. It's an honour to be here. It's an honour to be part of this when you're giving something back to the society and you feel that you're doing something good, I mean, we all try to do good things, but now it's not on an individual level, it's on a corporate level. And the, the message that I, that I can give to them is, listen, let's get the, <laughs> the tough going um, for the simple reason that with every single strike of bike that you're giving, you are helping someone else. I must say a big thank you and uh, show also appreciation uh, towards all those involved. Um, from the cyclists towards um, the, the strategic partners who have contributed to something which can be described just in one word, beautiful.